Lesson 16 homework. Number one, Anthony bought an eight foot board. He cut off three fourths of the board to build a shelf and gave one third of the rest to his brother for an art project. How many inches long was the piece Anthony gave to his brother? So they want us to use a tape diagram. So I'm gonna draw a tape diagram. And the entire board is eight feet. So the total length here is eight feet. Now he cut off three fourths of the board. So I'm gonna split it into fourths and he cut these pieces off. So he cut that off and gave one third of the rest. So the rest is what he didn't cut off to his brother for an art project. So the rest he split into thirds and gave one third of it to his brother for an art project. So we need to know how many inches long was the piece Anthony gave to his brother. So how many inches long is that piece? Well, first what I would do is see that I have four pieces here. So one, two, three, four pieces here, and the total is eight. So I wanna know how much each piece is worth. So if I do eight divided by four pieces, I know that each piece is two units. So let's see, this is two units, two units, and then this right here is two units. So then if I take the two, that the two holes, and I wanna know what that is split into three equal parts, two divided by three, we know that a division problem is a fraction. We learned that in previous lessons. So two divided by three is two thirds. So that piece right here is two thirds, but that doesn't answer our question either. We wanna know how many inches. So we know that it's two thirds of a foot. We need to know how many inches that is. So let's convert. So two thirds of a foot, we wanna know what that is in inches. So there's 12 inches in a foot. So I'm just gonna convert this to twelfths. I get eight twelfths of a foot, which would, would be equal to eight inches. Number two, Riverside Elementary School is holding a school-wide election to choose a school color. Five-eighths of the votes were for blue, five-ninths of the remaining votes were for green, and the remaining 48 votes were for red. How many votes were for blue? Let's draw our tape diagram. And we start off with five-eighths of the votes were blue. So I'm gonna split it into eighths. And five-eighths were blue. Now it says five ninths of the remaining were for green. So this here is what's remaining and five ninths were for green, but we only have three units here. So I'm gonna take these three units and split it into ninths. And five ninths were green. and the remaining 48 votes were red. So whatever's left over is red. Okay, we wanna know how many votes were for blue. What we know right now is that 48 votes were red. So right here, those three, four pieces were 48 votes. So I know that in each section, I have 48 votes and I have one, two, three, four, split into four units. So divide, I'm gonna divide that by four units so I can see how many each unit is worth. So 48 divided by four is equal to 12. So each one of those tiny pieces is worth 12 votes. 
So from there, what I can do, if I want to know blue, blue, we didn't split those into these tiny little ninths or thirds. So I know that if there's three pieces in that, three units times 12 votes in each one, in each one of those, there are 36 votes. So to figure out how many votes were for blue, I'm going to do 36 times 5, because there are 5 of the eighths that were 36 votes that were blue. We get 180 votes. All right, how many votes were for green? So what we used up here is going to help us again. So we know that one of these whole units right there, that is 36. And then we know that these tiny units right here are each 12. So we're going to have 36 plus, we have two of the smaller units, 12 plus 12. Or 36 plus 24. And 36 plus 24 is equal to 60. So 60 votes were green. If every student got one vote, but there were 25 students absent on the day of the vote, how many students are there at Riverside Elementary? Okay, so we know that for blue, there were 180 votes. For red, there were 48 votes. And for green, there were, was it 60 votes? And then absent, was 25. So that's 25 votes that were not cast. So what we can do to figure out how many students there are is add up all of these. So we're going to do 180 plus 48. We get 228 plus 60 plus 25. we get 313 students. D, 7 tenths of the votes for blue were made by girls. Did girls who voted for blue make up more than or less than half of all the votes? Support your reasoning with a picture. Okay, so I'm going to use a tape diagram. And we know that seven tenths of the vote were blue for blue were made by girls. So there were 180 blue votes and seven tenths were girls. So I'm going to split this into tenths. And seven of them Where are the girls? So if we have 180 votes and we divide that by the 10 units, that means that there are 18 votes in each section. And if we want to know how many were in all seven of those, we're going to do 18 times 7. We get 126. So if there were 313 total, and we want to know, is 126 more than or less than half of all the votes? So 126 would be less than half 
because 126 is less than half of 313. And then E, we've already answered that. It would be 126 girls.